Hello everybody, Dr. Fatma Zahra Salim with you, a professor in the Faculty of Education at Ain Shams University. Uh, we are going today to discuss a very important topic in your course of critical thinking, which is, can you guess with me, dear? Yeah, perfect. How to distinguish facts from opinion or facts versus opinion. As we know before that critical thinking is the best possible way of determining which statements are fact and which statements are opinion. Let us see the answer. Now we need to set a comparison between facts versus opinion. Uh, in order to differentiate between facts and opinion, we need to put our hands on the key factors that you can distinguish uh, facts from opinion. Number one, fact is a true statement or a piece of information uh, about something or about an issue, situation, problem that can be tested. You can put it under experiment and prove it, right, by clear evidence. But on the other hand, opinion, it just subordinates to your feeling, your beliefs, your point of view, a view or judgment about something. This is your personal explanation or interpretation about something, right? Uh, on the other hand, fact, a piece of information that you can prove with concrete evidence, reliable evidence, right? Strong reasons. But on the other hand, opinion cannot be tested or proved by evidence. So, fact is objective. You obtain consensus agreement upon your theory, upon your treatment, upon your solution, and it transfers this alternatives into theories, into treatment, into new global uh, uh, treatment, global solution, right? So this objective doesn't change because it's real fact. But sub uh, opinion is subjective, personal, and it can easily change your point of view to, uh, in order to um, uh, prove your ideas with a strong point of view, another strong point of view. So uh, it's a change, but you can change the, uh, your point of view or your opinion. So this is uh, the comparison between facts and opinion. Let us move to uh, some examples from your field of study in dental work uh, to put our hands on the uh, differentiation, more differentiation uh, of um, between facts and opinion. Let us see the matter. Some examples about facts from your field of study in dental work. Uh, number one, remember, dear, what's facts? Yeah, a piece of information that you can be proved or tested by clear evidence. Excellent. Huh. The example number one is a normal adult mouth has 32 teeth. This is real fact. You can prove and test this information to obtain strong evidence. Excellent. The example number two about upon facts, the jaw joint plays a fundamental role in oral and facial health. This is clear fact. Yeah, you can test it, right? The example number three is uh, this is bad habit from the dental care problem. Grind your teeth during the day at night or pause day and night. It wears them down, wears them down, damages them, right? Uh, this is fact or, or, or opinion. Yeah, it's a clear fact. You can uh, test and prove and put this information under experiment to obtain uh, a lot of uh, evidence about this information. Uh, number five uh, or number four, for older adults or the elder people with age, the gums push back and the roots of the teeth become exposed, often increasing sensitivity. Yeah, this is clear. Yes, through the age, the roots of the teeth become exposed and increasing the sensitivity. This is real fact. This is from the reality and this is from the experimentation. Yeah, this is real fact. You can prove upon this uh, information. Uh, the last example of the fact is antiseptic. Uh, 
rinses or cleansing your, your teeth, uh, cleansing your teeth help get rid of bacteria that cause gum disease and bad breath. Uh, yeah, excellent. This is real fact you can uh, test and prove and put this information or piece of information or statement under experiment to prove upon this, e this statement of all information. Excellent. So this is some example from your dental work about facts. Let us move to some examples about uh, opinion. Yeah, opinion. Remember, dear, what's the opinion? Yeah, it's a statement. Uh, you cannot uh, prove, it can, it cannot be proved because it's a pertinent and uh, reflects the um, a point of view or your feeling, your beliefs, your thoughts, your history, your history, your experience, past experience, and you reflect this past experience or the actual experience upon the reality without any evidence, right? So this is your point of view. This is your uh, personal explanation or interpretation about something. Let us see some examples from your dental work. Number one, uh, gum disease is not painful. This is my point of view. This is my opinion. Number two, some people or some patients said that dentists are violent to his patient. This is opinion, right? People think, right? People say people say that, right? People say that. People think the firmer the toothbrush, the better. This is uh, according to some people, right? So this is an opinion you cannot prove upon this opinion or upon this viewpoint. If you need to subordinate to test this piece of information, you, you can transfer this opinion into real fact by putting it uh, under experimentation or under experiment and test it, right? You can transfer your opinion into real fact by testing and by proof upon this uh, information, right? Uh, critical thinking, some students said that critical thinking is not important for dental students. This is opinion, this is viewpoint. It's not a theory, right? Scientists not say that, right? Scientists not say that, right? So it's not a theory. It's a, it's trend, it's attitude, it's your attitude, it's your point of view. Right? So critical thinking is not important for dental students. This is not scientific information or this, this is not scientific uh, statement, right? Uh, the last example from the reality and from the global uh, issues today, uh, or the international uh, crisis today or uh, pandemic, uh, coronavirus disease 19 or COVID-19 infected human teeth. This is reality, this is fact. No, this is opinion, this is point of view, because there is no study said that, right? Uh, scientists not say uh, or, or, uh, or didn't say with this uh, statement and uh, they, uh, they didn't prove upon this statement. If you need to prove and if you need to find the evidence upon this um, a statement or upon this opinion, you should subordinate this piece of information under uh, test and to prove and to find uh, new evidence and strong evidence reasons upon this statement, right? So today we differentiate and distinguishing between the facts and opinion, right? Briefly, this was a quick comparison between facts and the opinion. We differentiate between facts and opinion and distinguish facts from opinion according to some key factors. Thank you so much. Hope this uh, lecture uh, is useful for you. And um, uh, please keep in your uh, smile all the time and be optimistic person. Please uh, refer to many examples from your real life and your reality about facts and opinion to differentiate more uh, um, uh, between them. Thank you so much. Please stay at home to be safe and happy Ramadan.
Dr. Fatma Zahra Hussain. Bye-bye.